Hi Virgo, this is your reading and I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot um, and welcome if you're uh, new and welcome if you are my Cyber Angel. This is your reading for the 28th till the uh, of December 2020 till the 3rd of January 2021 and I'm using the Ostara Tarot also the AAA uh, Audacious Action Angels uh, Oracle and the Celebration uh, of Love Oracle and the Answer of the Angels. This is your reading. Let's get started and the first card that you have is the um, Seven of Swords. If it hasn't happened yet, then be prepared and forewarned as forearmed that somebody might not be his true or her true self. They might be sneaky. They might have left already. Somebody might have left in a haste. They didn't want a confrontation um, about something or they might have taken something about it and didn't want to get accused or confronted about it. So be careful of unfair people. Okay. In the middle of the week you have the magician. The magician means a new beginning. Now if, some, if you have been partnered up and somebody's left the partnership or the relationship whether it's in business or at work, uh, in love, then um, there will be a new beginning. You could be doing something magical. You've got all the gifts, the talents, the knowledge to perhaps turn the whole situation round. But I'm not allowed to give you my opinion. But know that you are stronger um, and more magical than they ever anticipated. Okay. Now, is a change coming for you and a new beginning? Um, you there could be more than one because the magician means that you want uh, know that there will be a change, a new beginning because that is what you want. It's number one, and I know with this card that you want a change, a change for the better. But remember, you can't change people okay they can only change themselves you cannot do the magic for them okay so be prepared you could be dealing with an Aries or a Gemini okay then we have the tower the tower means an unexpected change will befall you okay so be ready like I said somebody might do something uh, gossip about you and this could organize a change an unexpected change could be at work that somebody is jealous of you because look at the <coughs> um, I forgot his name again uh, the cutie pie they're cute but they when they bite they're really sharp um, I forgot the name Ra raccoon is this a raccoon? I hope so. Let me know. This is a must be a raccoon. Okay, looking at the raccoon, they can be sly. It's very well depicted though. He's looking at you or she's looking at you. They might be jealous of you and they might gossip and say something at work behind your back. You have uh, you're a magician so you are transparent, you are honest and you stand for that too and um, you are feeling the change that's why you're ready to do the magic okay so take this uh, unexpected new beginning because it wasn't built on proper foundation okay perhaps the employer um, made you sign a contract and it wasn't proper okay so perhaps you might go and seek advice from somebody and you will do the tricks and come out on top because you've got the power in your own hands now friends are falling away or colleagues and the tower wasn't built on a proper foundation and you have taken this warning uh, to your heart 
Okay. St um, the, when one door closes, 20 will open. Take this opportunity as an adventure and exciting new beginning. You hold the key now. You can change the present and the future. Boom. They better watch out. Because you've got perhaps a Gemini uh, that's also uh, Gemini stands for justice, clarity, honesty, wisdom and communication might be working on your behalf. Okay. And um, Aries. A A Aries. Okay. Okay. Aries also knows how to get what they want. So if they, they believe you and your story, they will go into action and protect you too. Okay. Then we have the world card. The world is your oyster. Remember that. You hold the key. You can change the path that you are on. This could mean promotion. So if you come out with the truth and you've got the uh, facts and the proof, then you will come out on top of the world. Then you can call the shots and they will get sacked or they will have to put things right. They can't run away from you. Definitely not Virgo. The world also represents Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo and Taurus. So those are the other couple of signs that could be prominent around you or in the near future this coming week. Okay. Uh, also the... Um, uh, we are in the age of Aquarius and the winter solace so um, perhaps in Aquarius time everything will be fine now until the Aquarius time okay you might be moving home you might be going on holiday um, you will be going up to the next level promotions um, in work or business more clients uh, also um, perhaps uh, in relationships okay now things are um, ha um, <sighs> big changes for you that's definitely what goes around comes around what goes up must come down this is also my karma card so if somebody's done you wrong they'll get it back threefold if they've done it good they will get it back threefold okay and so will you just remember that and you've got for the overall energy the eight of swords you are too much in your head don't worry or stress so much I know it's easier said than done but if you somebody has done you wrong the truth will come out okay it's better to stay away from unhealthy uh, negative energy that's why the tower has fallen because it wasn't built on a proper foundation so take off that those um, eye uh, blindfold and free yourself. You can spread your wings and fly away. Just step through the spaces of the swords. Open your mind, open your sight, open your heart, open your solar plex. Let the new ideas come in. Boom. It will take you to your proper destination. Now, you have the AA card, Good Vibration Angels. So the angels uh, have your back. Believe and have faith. Can you hear those tunes wafting through the air? Archangel Raphael is sending you healing vibes. So don't worry, they have your back. Ah, good vibes. Good vibes also means to me success, but you must believe. Now there will be celebrations, okay? There will be celebrations. You have the magic to celebrate. You will be on top of the world. Usually in a tarot deck you've got somebody standing on top of the world or in a hula hoop balancing you will be in balance something is coming round full circle new beginnings new beginnings you are be have your wits about you that is what i'm having you here and you will get your dividend you are being inspired to release and forgive any hurts or issues you have had with any past religious 
or spiritual affiliations. Forgive uh, and move on. It is now about your direct connection with the Creator. Celebration. That's what I said. Connect with um, the universe and with your angels. They are protecting you. Temple interlude. Interlude means pause. So take a pause from disbelief or any other uh, belief uh, systems. Believe in yourself uh, as others believe in you. There will be a celebration so long you take those blinkers off and come out of your head and open your heart, your solar plex and listen to your own intuition. You are ready for this big bang. You are ready for this new beginning. And I hear the big bang. Wow. I hope it resonates with you to if it uh, um, Virgo and if it doesn't then have a look at your moon sign and your rising sign but believe in yourself and rise above um, the wrong negative energy the negative energies stay below go to the positive energy go into your higher self and with the divine's help and the angels help remember the big bang is coming they're not expecting it. That is what I'm hearing as well. Well, that's it. That's the reading for you this week. Um, enjoy the New Year's Day and the change from the old into the new. And have faith. Stay tuned and stay safe. Be blessed. Ciao, ciao.